Hello and welcome to a Smurf P video and today we are looking at X-Men issue 6 and on front we got a lovely picture of Cyclops and we got Crack on behind him. Uh, so it is the aftermath of uh, Swords of X. The event is over and uh, the summer children are discussing how Araco and Krakon will unite and um, last time they just uh, entwined etc. Anyway it um, begins quite quickly and Araco just suddenly appears. However things are not going as smoothly as possible. They are not um, connecting in a way. So this is uh, written by Jonathan Hickman. Phil Noto is on the artist is the artist. <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not familiar with his work. Uh, VCs Clayton Cowles is on the lettering and Tom Miller is on design and lots of other people doing lots of other things. So um, we get a uh, young Doug talking to his friend about how they meet and uh, pretty much he, he gets told that's meet in the middle so literally he gets up they go meet in between the middle so uh crack on and arako are uh communicating uh, however things do not go as planned there has been a long time between both of them so it's been a long time since they've uh connected and it's a bit complicated in terms of they no longer speak the same language and oh they're simply just don't seem to be interested in each other however Doug points out that he's been married to on the Arakos and their unification is there and we get some some interesting responses from Nightcrawley's happy um, Mystique's I'm not um and Sebastian says, I hope your firstborn is an Omega. Um, Exodus is probably um, the most interesting um, in terms of this is time for, for joy. And he applauds him on his, his conquests. Love is complicated. Antifers, antifer, I see if I can say the damn word. Um, so, so some interesting uh, responses there. Magneto reached that sinister saying, you've been there. Tell us more about this thing. He says, I will not share this with you. <laughs> um, but ultimately, they're just not getting on. So they think about how they are going to uh, address this and communicate with this new new land. So um, they go to get there. One of the Nameth, whatever they were called, uh, is still there and hunted by... What's her face? A uh, woman who is unbeatable. I've forgotten her name already because that's how much she didn't have meaning. So anyway, she is offered a flower so she, they don't have to swim across to the other island. And um, they try to agree on the ways that they um, commune and talk to each other and over in the other island there is a great ring ring of Araco whereas here they have the quiet council and she makes friends fun of them by saying that they're, they're literally children and inexperienced and that's why you do these things um, so it's it's kind of an interesting start I guess I'm trying to communicate because now all of a sudden there's more mutants than ever um, those mutants have lived for a very long time and there are more of them than on our side we get the great ring of fire so similar to the quiet council you get three 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 two three so very very similar in terms of how it's structured so which is a coincidence maybe maybe not anyway Back to conversations, there is a conversation about the two seats that are now um, free on the council. And Scott and Gina offer to come join those seats and become part of this council. However, they feel that they have other responsibilities. Other responsibilities 
that involve a team of X-Men, which is nice. Because let's be honest, throughout the, the Dawn of X, there wasn't really a team of X-Men. There was just mutants thrown together for various different reasons. But um, it was almost like the, the Children of the Atom, that, that original status had gone away. So I'm glad that they it's not gone away completely and they're perhaps going to get back to it. And um, they discuss uh, who's going to be on the team. And they said, well, that feels wrong to for us to choose. We're, we're going we're gonna to put it up for a vote. So a vote to be an X-Men. So it's election for the X-Men, which is weird and new and interesting. Um, something I never thought I'd see. Um, so it's, it's a, an issue, I guess, of finding feet again and giving direction to whatever's going on so one this new union two uh the status of perhaps the x-men being a bit back and perhaps doing the things that they should be and lots of little things going on in the background um such as um reunions perhaps not being so reunioned um, probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever said in my entire life, but it's okay. It's an okay issue, and once again, Jonathan Hickman sets the tone. Steady and slow wins the race. Now, am I going to look at this whole Jonathan Hickman run at the end of it and say, wow, that was a brilliant run. I loved it from start to finish. Or am I going to look at it in five years when Hickman's no longer running a show and say, Wow, that was a load of horse crap. I'm not sure at the moment. There are moments that I really enjoy. There are moments where I think, meh. And then there are moments where I read an issue and I think, well, has progress actually been made? And if we think about 16 issues in, we've had an event that I'm not even sure that I thought that was the direction it was going in when I first started it. Um, so, for now, it's okay, another issue done, not sure it was the best issue in the world, not sure it was the worst issue in the world, but lots of little developments around characters, etc. So, anyway, that's it, um, I'm not sure what else I could say on this issue, um, or the series at present, let's see what issue 17 begins brings us I, I hope we're starting to see a, a more of a, a steady run of of stories rather than individual little things and kind of leaving gaps in it you know I still don't know what the hell happened with the broad king um so <laughs> just my opinion so anyway like comment please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to hit that that milestone of 1000 so so I really appreciate if you help me out follow me on Facebook my page is smart p Follow me on Twitter at Smurpy. I have no idea what I'm doing there. I'm also on Instagram at Cyclops Smurd. Um, so check that out as well. And thank you for watching and embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.